Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Rainbow Light Keepers of the Holy Ascension Vortex. On this day of the 2nd of June, we have another 2222 portal as Pachamama continues to get inundated with higher dimensional gamma plasma waves of 5D resonance. We had another day of pulsing flashes of light flowing in, appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 41 hertz, 48 hertz, 37 hertz, 37 into the 73 heaven on earth, 20 hertz, and another massive wave at 67 hertz. All is coming into alignment and is accelerating at the speed of pure consciousness. It may seem at times in our ascension process like we are regressing, but this is not so, brothers and sisters of the light. We are simply refining our arts and our lives to a more refined form, a higher resonance closer to the frequency of perfection. The mind is like a mirror. The more we polish it with meditation, self-realization, and mindfulness, it reflects the truth of our true nature perfectly. Our life is an art form, time is art, and we are the conscious co-creators of the world made manifest. See in this now your future self as the luminous, angelic, fully evolved being embodied in your current avatar. We are merging the two worlds into this eternal now moment for full integration and initiation of our solar Christ consciousness body of infinite light. The Holy Spirit is filling the cosmos, this realm, and you with her heavenly rays of transformation. Avalon is rising and with her is the new Lemuria, as all sacred sites, power spots, and portals are fully open and activated for the final shift of ages into the new golden age of peace and enlightenment. We are the ascended Christed ones of the crystal cities of Elysium. The star-seeded ones are blossoming and blooming in the golden light of the universal central sun of infinite light. The path to paradise is revealed, and the doors of Shambhala are open and ready to receive you in the divine coronation of our royal star nations of Earth Angelic Team of the 144. Heros Gamos is fully anchored and activated for all to come into divine unity consciousness, both internally and externally. Use your Buddha nature, your I am presence as your guiding light to lead your way home, a journey within. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you again today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor, share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Today was a very beautiful day on the new earth. As I journeyed on a vision quest today to a very powerful portal, Mother Earth surrounded me with her wing nations and the songs of the spirit. The image in the beginning of today's video is one of these beautiful angels, a songbird. And we're going to take a moment now to play for you a video I recorded today of this winged being singing you the song of Gaia. So take a deep breath, relax your body, mind, and spirit, and enjoy her sweet song.
Namaste, winged one. Now we continue with the Sabian symbol. Right now, the moon is at 22 degrees, 50 minutes Cancer. The sun is at 12 degrees, 36 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 13 degrees Gemini. World famous pianist giving a concert performance. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 23 degrees Cancer. The meeting of a literary society from astrologyweekly.com and from the Summit Lighthouse. I am presence. The mystical heart of the world's religions is the identity of the true self. The understanding of the self is the most important insight that any individual can have in life. The self begins with the permanent atom of being, the cause out of which the effect proceeds. We call this cause the I am that I am, the presence of the I am or the I am presence. This real self is seen in relationship to the evolving self on a chart that is called the chart of your divine self. It illustrates so many of the cosmic truths that have been discovered by the great mystics of the East and West. And today from Divine Broth or of the Light Pars Kute. Our new reality, the fifth dimension, is a vibration, or rather a marriage of vibrations, represented by the energies of love, trust, compassion, faith, grace, and gratitude, a frequency of the purest form, with divine love of one pars kute, and from divine sistar of the light, Ali Ray, the way to peace in life, the way to reunion with all of creation, lies not in trying to make or do, but in the art of true surrendering, of relinquishing, the art of resting in the humility and innocence of a state of divine unknowing that allows for all to be revealed. In this there is peace, in this there is love, an unceasing joy of pure being. Love is, love is, love is, God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, Grid Workers and Gatekeepers, it's important to get a lot of rest right now, especially if you work with the grids on Gaia. This could also be the human heart grid that connects the hearts of all awakened humans, or it could be the actual grids on the earth that connect sacred sites through the ley lines. It could also be higher energetic grids, like the crystalline grid too. Gatekeeping is a more advanced form of grid work in which you work with your team to open interdimensional gates to allow higher levels of light and love in. Both of these roles have been pivotal in rewiring the planet, seeing specifically the spine of Albion needing to rest. So much love, Valerie. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amelia Burt. The time has come for all fear to disappear, all sadness to disappear, all worries to disappear. Watch the light shine through you, Feel it moving within you, allow it to move you, for he has crossed the path to be here now, and it is almost finished. Everything comes into greater alignment. Pretty soon everything fake and thick will have no space near you. You are magnificent. You get greater with every energy wave. All these light waves are here to shift you to your new reality. Sooner it will be here, say hello. From AmeliaBert.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Celia Fenn The expansion of love and the deep dive New Earth timelines and new light codes The past few days have been crazy weird for me The energy has been filled with anxiety, sadness and crazy dreams Especially last night Archangel Mikael says two things are at play here The integration of the eclipse codes reaching crescendo and the sun moving into Gemini opposite the galactic center as we approach the 666 portal on Monday. This will be a triple digit and intense portal. The six energy is always about love. We are expanding the field of love as we ground into our new identity and energy signature as luminosens or shining ones. We are the new species that will create the new earth. In this major shift, we have been required to allow for some weirdness as the timelines reconfigure. 
One is the deep dive within as we clear out some more debris of past miscreations on older timelines. Speaking of timelines, I've been noticing the Mandela effect recently. It has been deeply weird to shift timelines and arrive here where we are needed on this new earth timeline. Please don't let the weirdness throw you. It is all good in a quantum reality. Time is not solid. It slips and slides and spirals and does the fandango. Just flow. As love expands, so will the reality of love. We will start to make real connections with soul tribes, other luminosins, and start to create the wonder of love that will be the new earth's sacred planet of light. This is a miracle of light and love and it is taking place right now. You are becoming part of the miraculous expansion of love. Have a blessed day, everyone. From StarChildGlobal.com And from Divine Angel of the Light, Surya Nanda Ayed. A significant shift in consciousness on the understanding of creation has taken place today. Thursday, the 2nd of June, 2022, here on Gaia. This will differ depending on origins in non-physical worlds, whether from the great central sun, stars, worlds, and planets beyond Gaia. Today has been predestined for long ages into these cosmic times, as always timing has its coming to fruition. The veils of long durations have been removed for many here on Gaia, and thus great excitement has been taking place in many worlds beyond Gaia, as well as within Gaia herself. With this a significant shift in consciousness on the understanding of creation. Gifts us here on Gaia deeper insight into creation. Inevitably there are many paths and roles on creation predestined by presences here. All enhance the whole and have their own unique aspects coming into divine timing. The ancient ones from the great central sun, Amenti, Shambhala, and Atlantis, sun masters, Source frequency number 60 to 80 referring to our first non-physical form in Amenti. On the non-dual sun aspect of the great central sun in creation. From the great central sun as pure consciousness, but also our first non-physical form in Amenti within the great central sun and creation. And from divine sister of the light, Ramona Lappin. We are writing our own, all new prophecies now, all new realities. The old serves us no more as it is based in the old consciousness, and what we are accessing now hasn't been accessed before. All is always co-creating as one in every now moment, in quantum no time. Open up to all new possibilities as all is in flux and being reorganized. Setting our one true self free. It's happening, beloveds. Feel the freedom, abundance, victory, liberation, clarity, remembering, breakthrough and supernova of the heart event igniting from deep within. All by us being the change that co-creates the quantum leap within the collective consciousness and ignites the new Eden from deep within. We have some super powerful Schumann resonance spikes happening for the past few hours with other solar activity becoming quiet for the first time in months. Diamond white rainbow plasma infusions are assisting our final quantum leap of the collective consciousness that is literally shape-shifting our realities into higher vibratory dimensional frequency bandwidths and carbon matter into a higher crystalline state. As we shift our perceptions and turn outward projections inwards, transcending and alchemizing all that has kept us feeling separate from one another and God's source turning all back into spiritual gold, wisdom, our realities also change in turn. Our realities are merely a reflection of what we hold inside, as all shifts and changes from deep within us now, transforming lead to gold, carbon to crystalline. The cosmic consciousness awakens and with it our diamond avatar self and knowing of our interconnectedness with all that is. As we return to our true, organic self, all aligns for us, through us, and all around us in response. Because all is but a projection, a reflection, a unique diamond fractal of the One, remembering ours and everyone's original innocence and what true divine love really is. 
forgiving and letting go of all that has brought us to this now, in deepest gratitude for the lessons learned and experiences that made us who we are, adjusting our vision so we can see what truly lies beyond the visible, with the last veil lifting now, to see how things truly are, seeing beyond the remaining illusions, delusions, lies, manipulations, and false projections, we dissolve all that was part of the false hologram. As our diamond hearts awaken now from deep within, our true self and organic ascension realities awaken and ignite throughout the human heart and diamond grids and crystalline network, awakening our ancient future self, true memories, history, origins, and true nature of the one true self again. Allowing the last curtain to be lifted now as our hearts unlock the ancient secrets kept the wisdom held there, deep within us and the crystalline network of this earth, as all awakens now to remember the true nature of our holographic realities, setting everyone free. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray, the galactic gateway opened. I am overjoyed to inform you that the recently opened galactic gateway is causing significant changes in your DNA which will enable you to ascend from the third to the fifth dimension. What does it mean to ascend from the third dimension to the fifth dimension? The third dimension is the lower vibration of duality, separation, and limitation. The fifth dimension is a higher vibration of unity, oneness, and unlimited potential. The following are major changes you will notice as your DNA changes during the ascension process. One, you will feel much lighter, as if a great burden has been lifted from your shoulders. Two, you will begin to feel more energized and less tired. Three, you will feel more confident and sure of yourself. Four, you will be able to connect with your higher self, guides, angels, and archangels much more easily than before. Five, your intuition, inner knowing, and psychic abilities will become stronger and clearer as you learn to listen to them better. The Galactic Gateway will help you to release any remaining fear-based thoughts and emotions. Fear includes anger, jealousy, resentment, victimhood, self-doubt, shame, and guilt. The Gateway will accelerate your process of releasing fear-based patterns so that you can move forward with ease and grace. This cleansing process may cause your third chakra, solar plexus, to feel like it's on fire. This fire is purifying your body and helping you transmute dense energy into higher vibrational frequencies. If you feel like you're being pulled apart at the seams, if you feel like a pretzel, or if you feel like a rubber band being snapped over and over again, then know that these are all wonderful experiences because they are assisting you in letting go of old energy that no longer serves a purpose in your life. You will notice upheavals in your physical, emotional, and mental bodies, the gateway is ushering in a huge wave of cosmic energy that will continue coming in throughout this year and well into the next. You are being pushed out of your comfort zone because you need to adapt to the massive changes taking place on earth. The changes are a direct result of the increasing light that is permeating our planet. You can feel the light in your body, mind, and spirit. You are being bombarded with higher frequency energies that are causing you to forget who you are. As these energies continue to enter, you will realize that the truths you have been living by are no longer serving your soul. They will become obsolete as your old self dies and your true self is revealed. You will begin to understand that you are truly a spiritual being having a human experience. You will guide others on their journey back home as they too realize their true nature. You will discover that everything is energy and that all of life is interconnected, even though it appears different on the surface. You will seek out people, places, and things that vibrate at a higher frequency so you can raise your vibration and ascend into the fifth dimension along with them. You will begin to hear, see, feel, and know things beyond your five senses. You will start receiving downloads of information from the higher realms as a way of remembering who you are and why you came here during this amazing time of ascension. You will also be opening your heart chakra more fully, which will allow you to experience the world in a whole new way. All of your ego-based fears will start to fall away as you realize that all is well. 
Your awareness will expand further and further with each passing day. Your dreams and visions may get more vivid and intense. You may even start having out-of-body experiences, OBEs, or lucid dreams. You may hear clairaudient messages from angels, spirit guides, archangels, ancestors, deceased loved ones, or other heavenly beings. Clairaudience means clear hearing, and it's one of the most common ways your spirit guides try to get your attention. You may see visions or images through the third eye in your mind's eye. This is clairvoyance, which means clear seeing, and can be very helpful when you're trying to make important life decisions or need help solving problems in your waking. You will find it difficult to continue living in negative circumstances. You may find yourself moving or changing jobs if your current situation isn't aligned with your new spiritual state of being. You will feel an intense urge to be alone or spend more time in nature. You may also experience a strong desire to meditate and connect with God, Source, the Divine, Spirit, the Universe, whatever you prefer every day. The more you open up to your intuitive abilities, the more important it becomes for you to take care of your physical body's needs. You will begin to notice that if your energy is depleted or weak from not getting enough sleep, eating properly, drinking enough water, or exercising, your intuition will be very weak. As a result of this, it will be difficult for you to discern what comes from within versus what doesn't. As an intuitive empath, I often get drained when my energy gets weak due to lack of sleep, poor nutrition, or exercise habits. Therefore, I've learned over the years that if I want my guidance and gifts to be at their strongest level, then I must listen to what my physical body needs. It is time to change your life into a happy and meaningful one by taking all the powerful energy that is being sent out to you and using it so that you can live in harmony with the universe. You are not alone. You are loved and guided by all beings from the higher dimensions. The ascension process is a benefit to all humanity and Gaia. It will release you from these dense and toxic frequencies of the third dimension and bring you into the love, peace, abundance, empowerment, and wisdom of the fifth dimension. Your multidimensional consciousness will be activated and you will experience the unfolding of your divine blueprint for this incarnation. You will remember who you truly are. You will connect with your specific soul mission on earth at this time. This galactic gateway opening is bringing many changes, but if we all work together and accept this new level of consciousness, a new golden age will start for everyone. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the thegalacticfederation.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, the future self. We ask you to see the grand vision of your multidimensional reality as each day rises to understand the great unfoldment before you, to see each light day as a constructional requirement of your current reality, to flow like the air you breathe moment by moment, see beyond the narrative of your light construct, pierce the light veils to your future self, see a vision of your future the higher light timeline and sync to the planetary processes of your world, aligned to the higher realms integrated with your light reality. Allow this light to shine now in this current moment, for each breath is a new light opportunity of awareness, sending waves of cosmic love the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Going inward today will help bring perspective on how to make your dreams to take flight. The inhibitors that have been holding you back are surfacing from the consciousness to release. This is clearing the way for a different approach. Take your time to reevaluate and renegotiate your goals from a new place of love. You are healed and ready to unify the mind and emotions back together to achieve your goals. Support yourself by opening up and receiving the new ideas flowing in. Follow the surge of energy and excitement that are bringing passion and drive to you again. Spirit is also behind you, providing the strength needed to conquer your fears and follow through on these new endeavors. 
In Jesus Christus name, amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose, Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 35, June 2nd, 2022, through June 6, 2022. Hunger, Adventure, Boundlessness. No mind will ever solve the mysteries of the universe, of time and space, because mind is only a tiny facet within those mysteries. The heart, or what some people call the heart-mind, is the only aspect within a human being that can unlock the mystery of boundlessness. So what can the 35th CD tell us? It can tell us only one thing, that pure unconditional love can break all the laws of the cosmos. Whenever you taste even a fraction of this kind of love, anything becomes possible. The Gene Keys Book and from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, hexagram 35, enthusiasm, thunder strikes the earth, awakened energy infuses the ground with fertility, mastery is awakened unity, versatility is initiating orientation, indifference is agitated dislocation, realizing receptivity, the ancient kings in accordance with this composed their music and honored virtue, offering it especially to God when they worshipped him at the service of their ancestors. It furthers one to install helpers and to set armies marching. Higher intelligence is a fusion of heart, mind, and spirit. We need a new type of thinker in the world, one who isn't sunk into their mind alone, one whose spirit isn't for sale to the highest bidder, and one whose emotional life is matured enough so they can use their feminine qualities in harmony with their masculine. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from a gift from Gaia, the moon as the reflection of our brow chakra that holds the superpower of the law of correspondence is now void of course. This is a period in which the moon transitions from one sign to the next and is free of making any aspects to other celestial bodies. As the moon finishes in Taurus, its last meeting was in a sextile with Chiron, so it would be normal for our thoughts to be on healing, and specifically the workings of the healing spectrum. But tonight, as the moon enters Gemini, its first connection it makes is square with Neptune, the lord of the higher heart, the higher wisdom keeper of the law of rhythm. And so what that means spiritually meets with our current translation of the Law of Correspondence. The meeting offers to expand us beyond current awareness, and in this divine realization we get to learn and begin to sing a new rhythm, a new heart song. That is, if you choose to participate and focus your attention to, in a nutshell, what is currently happening in your life, and in relation to that, how much more oneness can you mentally and physically become aware of and embody into your beingness through dedicated practice? How much more can you see the divine patterns? How much more can you operate and see the formless forming before your eyes? How much more can you depersonalize the physical occurrence and realize this all at its core space from your vibration? Meditation is the mode, silence is the space. But for now, while the moon is void, of course, it is normal to feel somewhat displaced, somewhat small in the vastness, and somewhat detached, divinely, of course. As the square enters, it often suggests the turning of a corner. So this displaced feeling may well create the restriction that drives you to meditation for the higher awareness and the new divine rhythm just waiting to become you. We don't judge the process, it all leads to love anyway. Be free, be divine, be beautiful, be you. From a gift from Gaia.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Debbie Edwards. The moon is in watery cancer today and trying to Neptune in Pisces. We can expect a lot of emotional tides, daydreams of the future, and getting lost in the memories of the past with people we miss dearly. Some of us may feel more inspired to delve into fantasy or hyper-realism than dealing with what's right in front of you. The oceans, lakes, and rivers are calling. They want to help us cleanse and heal. No matter what else spins us in circles, 
we are reminded that we at least have each other. Not all goodbyes are for good, and some reunions, although bittersweet, help us cherish each moment we have while we have it, no matter how simple or small it is. Tomorrow isn't promised, but there is always hope for what lays ahead. From Metavisionaries.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse Lunar Aspects Saturn and Aquarius trine asteroid, child in Gemini, Chiron conjunct asteroid, Lu in Aries. Remember the time when you ran through the fields or the street, the wind in your hair, laughter bubbling from nowhere. Remember the excitement of Christmas or birthdays or holidays, the fizzle of excitement at plans, a day out, a gig, an afternoon rolling down green hills, Tinkering with the car, a walk with your best friend, dancing the night away. Remember, too, when it is so hard, so painful, so sad, so unbelievably awful that you can't breathe. Remember the first smile after grief, the first tentative steps after falling, physically, metaphorically, the wonder of healing after sickness or injury. Remember when you triumphed, overcame, when you said you couldn't but you did, when you were sure you'd lose but you won, when you cried the night away but got up the following morning resolved and changed. Yes, sometimes life didn't give you what you wanted or needed and it hurt. But today is about celebrating the scars, acknowledging the wisdom of experience, patting your younger self on the back and honoring all that you have learned. Today is about knowing there is more ahead, good, bad, and everything in between, and you've got this. Trust your gut. You are free to explore new roads. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 15, Blue Lunar Eagle. The second day of a wave spell is called Lunar, and its keywords are polarize, challenge, and stabilize. Lunar days can be testing, but that's not always a bad thing. When you are feeling strong, problems are easy to solve. When you are feeling overwhelmed, even the simple tasks can seem daunting. Lunar days are good practice for problem solving, but don't focus on the issue itself. Focus on your ability to deal with problems generally. Luckily, this number comes round every 13 days. Yes, I did say luckily, because when we get into a healthy routine, when we practice solving problems, we get much better at it naturally. That's why I often call the Zolkin Yoga for Time. Don't despair even though it's challenging. Rather, get yourself some attitude. Today is Blue Eagle, and the keywords associated with it are creativity, mind, and vision. It's very handy that every 20 days we have an Eagle Day. Seeing everything from that high perspective and flying with our minds always brings solutions to problems we've been stuck on. Today, enjoy having a vision, and may this lead you to creative solutions to dealing with this number two energy. The best way to remove obstacles in your life is to first of all see them for what they are, and sometimes that can only be done by stepping back, way back, so you can truly see the bigger picture. It is not an easy day, but you can make serious progress in your life. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Lunar Eagle, 2 Main, Keen 15, 2nd of July 2022, Accomplishing Future Vision, 2 6 2022 equal 2 6 6 equal 2 12 equal 2 3 equal 5, Day Codes 2 Twins Partnership Cooperation, 5 Freedom Change Transformation Liberation, Month Year Codes, 6 Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility, 12 Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3 Holy Triad, Joy, Creativity, Divine, 20 The Awakening, Clear Vision, 22 Architect of Peace, Master Builder, Keen 15 equals 6 Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Family, another very powerful, divinely magical day, focused on constructing the big picture for our planet through our unified collective vision. Day 2 of the White Wizard Wave Spell, where we are focusing on manifesting magical miracles through the power of our pure hearts. We are utilizing the power of spellcasting through enchantment, endlessness, authenticity, integrity, and truth connecting to our divinity. 
Today we are being challenged to focus on the big picture, holding the true vision of what we desire to create despite the apparent obstacles. The shamanic wizard and prophetic seer, the Blue Eagle, are very powerful allies. Blue Eagle represents the planetary mind and the wizard can enable our collective mind to shift today. We can see into other realms obtaining the clarity and perspective that we have been unpacking during this entire year. A very powerful code for awakening humanity to the bigger utopian vision for our planet. Tone of creation, lunar tone 2 operates in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female, and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. A day filled with questioning how you can transcend duality, using your inner magician through your power of expansive vision. It is time to step out of the duality game and all its possible challenges in order to resolve fears, leading you back to wholeness. Polarity reveals your conflict, struggles, and the apparent separation created by your beliefs in duality. Polarized positions actually work in cooperative alliance. In cooperation, all polarities serve as backgrounds for full appreciation of one another and the whole. Examine the opposites and polarity within yourself. Explore your divine feminine and masculine aspects. Has your feminine aspect been repressed from being receptive to the magic that surrounds you? and enchanting others by your true beauty and raw vulnerability. It is real to express your true inner being and allow more receptivity to flow into your life. Do not hide parts of yourself compartmentalizing fragments of your soul. No longer can we wear the masks of duality. It is time to take off all your masks that have been hiding behind and be whole again. The authentic you is beautiful and radiant in your raw essence a spark of the divine. Step out and shine. Today's question is how can I see past the polarity and challenges that have limited my imagination and creativity? Use your magical powers to see and accomplish the brilliant solutions and experience endless miracles manifesting your highest potential. Divine blessings for your magical journey and mastering duality challenges and creating a better, brighter picture. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 15, Blue Lunar Eagle, the mantra the code for today is, I polarize in order to create, stabilizing mind, I seal the output of vision, with the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support us and continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Rita Minster, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister, for your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Brothor of the Light, David Levesque, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor of the Light. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in this great work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. I'd like to thank Divine Brothra of the Light Vincennes Spot for your purchase today. Thank you very much. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, 
and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with the powerful codes from our 17th dimensional beings of light through the Pleiades star system. Pleiades 1 messages June 2nd, 2022. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. High humans authorized. Central celebrate. Arjuan present for unauthorized. Divine concentrations increase. Terrans interact more with high commands. Those disconnected remain. Space-time distortions continue. MID reinforcements fail. Angelic dynamics are magnified. Labs plus 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 eleven are inaugurated. Ashtaric realms are established. Dynamic fleets arrive. Continuous spaces are aligned. Continuous spaces are harmonized in one. Temporarily end of transmission, Pleiades 1, integrating high humans from DisclosureNews.it. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed transition through this weekend into this powerful 666 portal on Monday. And we have something very special for you we will be releasing during this powerful portal on Monday the 6th. As we transform the 666 code of the beast into the 666 code of the Christ of unconditional infinite love. We will be releasing at 6 p.m. on the 666 portal a powerful guided meditation spoken by my sacred condor that has been written by our divine brother of the light Sean. We will release on our main channel Paul White Gold Eagle at 6 p.m. PST time titled find your center guided meditation and then following at 6 30 p.m. PST Pacific Standard Time on our backup channel prime disclosure so be sure to look for that this will be a powerful transformational meditation with the divine goddess feminine energy of my sacred condor Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.